Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Before I start this lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Once again, call Hala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. My name is Tazim Makamath, coming from the Camp Prophets in Babylon, here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches truth and well. All right. And I just want to go into this quick lesson. You know, bless are your eyes. Oh, it's lucky. Bless are the ones that can see. All right. Bless are the ones that can see. Because we are in a time and place, you know, in this movie of Yahweh about Shemiel Shai, that the ones that could see, you know, with their spiritual eyes, you know, hey, they're blessed because we could foresee the things that are coming. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahusha has opened, you know, our eyes to it, our eyes and ears to what's going on and what's around us through the spirit. And we took heed. OK, and I just want to go into this quick lesson <clears throat> and Lord willing, this lesson's edifying because the time that we're, we're about to uh, see and the things we're about to that's uh, approaching us is very dreadful. OK. And now the Lord has given us that time of grace, a period of time to get right. OK, and that time of grace and liberty, we, we should not um, we should not um, take advantage of it. Take it with all take it, take it all in because we're not going to be able to repeat this anymore. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to go into it. This is Matthew 16. And I'm sorry, verse 13. It says, when Yahweh came unto the coast of Caesarea of uh, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, Elijah, and others, Jeremiah, which is Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art Hamashiach, the son of the living power. Okay. And you can see that. Well, let's keep on reading. Verse 17. And Yahweh answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it, it unto thee, but my father, which is in heaven. Okay. Which shows you that, you know, through the spirit, we're able to see and discern what what's right and what's wrong. All right. And, you know, Peter was, you know, blessed, even though we know that um Peter is King David in the reincarnation. OK. That's why he was head of the church. OK, but also. <laughs> nobody revealed that unto Peter, you know, nobody revealed that um that he was the Lord. OK, but Peter, through the, through the spirit, OK, his eyes being opened through the spirit, you know, the, the father had opened his eyes and seen that, hey, you are the Lord. You are the son of Yahweh. OK. And which is which is spiritual, man. And that's the same thing with us. You know, uh, let's actually get this spiritual man. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 15. Uh, we could actually start. Um, we can start at 13. And it says, 1 Corinthians 2 and 13. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, right? Because the Holy Spirit teaches us the things that we know, <clears throat> which is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. Okay? Man's wisdom you know, you know, not man's wisdom that teach us, you know, these, these, um, the words of the scriptures, but the Holy Spirit in order you, in order for you to under, understand, you know, deep prophecy, you know, parables, the Holy Spirit has to reveal it unto you. You're not going to be going to school for it. No, the Lord has to open your eyes and ears to it. Right. And it says comparing spiritual things with spiritual all right, which um, Simon Peter actually have done. But it says, which is an example. 
uh, verse 14, but the natural man receiving not the things of the spirit of the most high. So reading on, it says, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned, which shows you that, you know, the Lord has to open your spirit to understand and see, which, which, you know, goes into this lesson, you know, blessed are the ones that can see. Okay. Blessed are the ones that can see. We're not spiritually discerned. We're not spiritually uh slack, you know, and um dumb. We we have been uh super sharp, super wise through the spirit because the Lord has enhanced our spirit to see and to actually be able to build upon the thing that's living inside of us, okay? To be under to be under the truth, to be understand to understand the, the true knowledge and understanding of the Bible, okay? We're able to see things in the spiritual eyesight, okay? While others, they read it for face value, all right? And actually seeing things upon this earth and this world, which is the place of judgment, and to be able to spiritually, you know, discern things. Oh, man, that's spiritual. Oh, this is spiritual. But another man will see it, and he would not see, he would not see that as spiritual because they're discerned. We're able to see things that happen in the world and that say, oh man, that links with prophecy, that's spiritual. Or you may watch a movie, a show, you may you may run across a sign that has they may have a certain quote, a certain message. You'll be like, wow, that's spiritual. Okay. But verse first verse 15, and it says, But he that is spiritual judge of all things, yet he yet he himself is judge of no man. Okay? A spiritual man judge of all things. Okay, and Peter, that's what he did. He was a spiritual man. He 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 understood that this is the this is the son of Yahweh. Okay. He he ju he judged based off the fact that he he judged based off the fact that this is nobody else but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. Let's get this. This is Matthew 10 and 21. In that hour, Yahweh Shai rejoiced in the spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes. Okay. And when you go into a babe, it's very, um, it's easily, it's easily taught. You know, their mind is like a sponge. They, they're able to listen and not read, um, go against you and rebuke you and all these stuff like that. A babe is very, um, is very, um, how do you say it? Very aware, you know, they're, they're willing to learn. Okay. When they, when they, like the saying in the world, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, you know, this wise and prudent, they're, they're very pride. They're very prideful in their, in their ways. So they can't get taught new. They're like, no, no, this, what this is, no, no, no. Rather than a babe, they'd be like, oh, okay. All right, this is how you do it. Okay, this is how you do it. All right. All right. That's why the Lord said, hey, reveal them unto babes. A babe is not going to buck up and go against you. Oh, no, nah, this is not what it says. Okay. It says, even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. So it was good to the Father. He revealed it unto babes. And we were all babes at one time. That's why the Lord deals with young men. The Lord, the Lord said he deals with young men. Let's actually get this real quick. Since it popped in my mind. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the days, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Okay. Now we're in the, we're at a young age. Some brothers older, some brothers younger, but we are all at a young age where the Lord had opened our eyes and ears to this knowledge, to this truth. And and soon enough, hey, well, it's all going to pay off from the time we started jumping in this truth. We're going to be like, wow, I, rem I remember. And, you know, and you're going to, hey, man, you're going to take full advantage. Like, wow, I'm so grateful that the Lord opened me up at this time. Because without it, you're going to be lost. Okay, um, let's go back to the scripture I had.
Matthew 10 and 22, it says, All things are delivered to me of my father, and no man knoweth the son, who the son is but the father, and who the father is but the son, and he to whom the son will reveal him. Verse 23, and he turned unto him and and he turned him unto his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which which see the things that ye see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Which shows you that hey, the disciples that were with Yahweh Shai. They were a. Hey, they were very blessed, you know. They, you know, they were very blessed <clears throat> because the Holy Spirit was was opening their their eyes and ears to see when the Lord was teaching them things. The Lord was telling them privately, one on one, in an intimate face value. You're blessed. You're able to understand what I'm saying. You're you're able to understand what I'm what I'm trying to do. But these but these people. They try to they try to see it, they try to uh, to understand it, but they can't. Which actually leads me to this last precept right here. Um, Mark four and eleven. Well, we can start at uh, verse nine. Mark four and nine, and he said unto them, He that have ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were about him, with the twelve, asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, unto you, it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the most high. But unto them that are without all these things are done in parables. All right. And when you go into this. Uh, this word mystery. In the book of Mark four. And eleven, when you go into the word. uh mystery let's go into it mystery which is a greek word strong's g 3466 mustadion mustadion and it says generally mysteries religious secrets confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals and so when the lord said we were blessed we were not ordinary Okay, we were on a high stature, not to say I say that humbly, but the Lord was dealing with us one on one. We're not ordinary. Okay, we're able to understand, we're able to see, we're able to know what's going on. So we can't be ordinary like all these other people that are on this world. Okay, and which is a real blessing, man. Okay, you can't take this for granted. This truth because it can be easily took away. So with that, man, Lord willing, this lesson been edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakudash. Till next time I say Shalom.